What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of In The Know, which is a new series that I kind of started. I didn't even tell you that I was starting, that I just kind of started. So in the last video we did In The Know, how to layer for spring, and today's is going to be In The Know, how to mix prints for spring. So this is kind of a series that I started just so we can discuss different topics, um, whether it be trends or how to do something. So it's gonna be kind of like this, more of like a sit down style, talk through, showing outfits. So I do have another series called, <laughs> theories. <laughs> So I do have another series called Talking Trends, which is where I talk about a certain trend. Talking Trends is more of a trend-specific series, such as embroidery, waist centers, and this is more of a general, a more broad range of topics, such as mixing prints and layering, and just kind of things that we all wonder about and just need some inspiration for. When you're mixing prints, you do want to make sure that your top and your bottom both aren't busy prints. So you don't want to have small stripes and small polka dots. Make sure that one of the prints is a little bit more bold than the other one. When you are wanting to uh, mix your patterns and your prints, I definitely recommend bringing a stripe top or a polka dot, you know, your favorite piece while you're shopping and just kind of hold it up to everything. Um, when I bought this skirt, I grabbed a stripe top from the rack and I was just kind of holding it up just to see kind of what print would go good with what um, because it's really hard to visualize in your head what it's going to look like. So I definitely recommend holding things up in the store and really kind of playing with it and see what works best for you. Another quick tip that I have for you guys, and I don't have an outfit with it, but always go for a blazer too. There are so many great floral print... <laughs> There are so many great floral printed blazer. Try saying that. Floral printed blazers. <laughs> Say there are so many great floral printed blazers. There's so many great floral printed blazers. There's so many great floral printed. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. Oh. There's. So <laughs> Um, you know that you can definitely mix your prints with like I saw this really gorgeous floral blazer at Zara that I thought would go great with the stripe top um, So definitely play with blazers and jackets and outer outerwear as well The first prints that I mixed is one of my favorite um, Prints to mix is stripes and leopard with this outfit. I did this striped top from Lulu's in my leopard dune London shoe. I just added a pair of black culottes from H&M. Obviously, you can do denim, you can do shorts. As long as the leopard and the stripes are far enough apart, it really doesn't matter what you put in the middle. When I do mix stripes and leopard, I always make sure that the majority of my stripes are white because I feel like if it were opposite and you had majority black, it would get a little too clashy because there is so much black in the shoe. So you can do thin stripes or you can do thick stripes as long as it's a bold enough print and it's not too small. I think really small stripes kind of get lost. For my next two outfits, I actually did the same pair of pants from Zara and it's just these striped, cropped, almost like a culotte type of pant. These are see-through. I just realized that these are see-through. They are. Ooh. And they're everywhere right now, so they're really easy to find and easy to grab. These are from Zara and they actually come with a two-piece set, but I do like to wear them as separates. So for the first outfit, I did this polka dot top also from Zara. Um, I just love these two prints together. As you can see, the stripes are very far enough apart. This is a very minimal striped bottom. Obviously, there is a lot going on in the top. So you wanna make sure that your stripes are a little bit bigger and your polka dots are smaller. For my next outfit with the striped pants, I did this bird printed top. When you have tops like this that aren't you know, a typical print like a polka dot or a stripe or a floral. You know, I think it, it is really good to pair it with stripes because I think stripes is a good starting point when you are wanting to mix prints. Stripes and polka dots, but I think mostly for me, I gravitate more towards stripes. So if I'm gonna mix prints, I always start with a striped either bottom or top and then add something to it. And you know, this is, just such a random print, but I thought it went really nice because it's kind of the same color palette. It's all black and white. And again, um, there's not so much going on in the top, so it really goes nicely with the stripe bottom. So 
my next outfit is one of my absolute favorite ways, probably my most favorite way to mix prints, um, floral and stripes. Started out with this really pretty skirt from Topshop that I got recently, so it will still be online for you guys. Um, first of all, I love red, I love ruffles, and I love skirts, so this was kind of a no-brainer for me. Like I said before, I always gravitate towards stripes, so I did this top from H&M. This stripe top is obviously very um, busy. All of the stripes are smaller, it's nothing too bold, it's very, very small stripes. So when I went for the skirt, as you can see, the floral print is a little bit more scattered. I mean, there's still small flowers, but it's not such a busy cluster of prints. Like there's more red than there are actual flowers. So I knew this would be a great match. For my last outfit, I did another stripe and floral. This time I played with my accessories and I just did a basic black sweatshirt and black skirt. It's one of my go-to outfits. Um, when it gets a little warmer, when I'm just running around, I'll throw a sneaker on or a sandal. But I really wanted to play with my accessories and mix my prints up. So. I did my striped bag from Zara that I pretty much carry all the time when I'm looking for a print or need to add a print to my outfit. I go for this one. And then I just did my Matisse floral booties. So it's kind of the same situation as the last outfit. A lot of stripes going on in the bag, minimal floral print in the boot. And the majority of the bag is white, the majority of the shoe is black. So. You know, like I said before, when you're wanting to mix prints, just try to hold everything up to each other. Try it on. You know, sometimes it is hard to visualize, but sometimes even when you, um, you know, hold it up, you still can't quite get an idea until you have it on your body. So I do recommend trying it on, trying on the whole outfit. All right, so and that is it for this video for the second episode of In The Know. Be sure to let me know how you guys are liking the series. I know this is the second um, episode, but definitely let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would like to continue seeing or if you have any topics that you want me to cover, just let me know. So I know in the upcoming June lookbook, which is so crazy to even say out loud, there will be a lot of mixing prints, a lot of stripes, polka dots, florals, so if you are into it, definitely go subscribe. It's basically a whole month's worth of outfit inspirations. Go straight to your inbox. Um, with shopping links and a really cool Facebook community. Uh, so go check it out and um, you can actually go to this URL, just type this into your URL and you can just kind of see what it's about. You, you don't have to commit to anything. Go check it out, see if it's for you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Even though it feels like Friday, right? <laughs> you sound so depressed. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> what happened in your step? We are running a little late for an event, but I think maybe we should make it, um, ish. I haven't had coffee, that's why. That